Hey, this is Dan Gasway once again with the Pitching Academy. Today, I want to talk about the windup. I know a lot of people, a lot of my pitchers throw from the stretch for the first eight or nine lessons and then we get into the windup. But today, uh, again, I want to talk about the windup, the proper way to do that. What, and I'll tell you what you don't want to do as well. What you, that's what I'll talk about first. What you don't want to do, and we shall see a lot of Little League pitchers do this, um, is take a big step back like that or a big side step. If you move your shoulders too much backward or forward, you're going to have a hard time finding that balanced position just as we talked about a couple videos earlier about from the, from the stretch position. So what I like to teach my pitchers to do from the windup is simply slightly bending their knees again. You don't want to start straight up like that until you find a perfect tall and balanced position until you're comfortable with this. So slightly bend your knees, keep your shoulders in front of the pitching rubber, not behind. You don't want to start like this, and you'll see why in here in a minute. But start with your knees slightly bent, shoulders in front of the pitching rubber. You can either take a side step, but when you take your side step again, you don't want your shoulders to move back this far. Just take your side step, keeping your shoulders where they are. You're not going to swing like this. So take a side step, turn your leg in like this. And the thing about throwing from the windup is a little bit more difficult from the stretch. So you've got to bring this leg all the way over here so you can lead with your hips and while you maintain your balance. So if you're going to take a step back, make sure that your shoulders don't go behind the pitching rubber. Because if you go, if you go behind the pitching rubber like this, and you're going to try to bring your, you're going to try to find that balance right there, and it's not going to be very conducive to that. So you want to take a, if you bring your leg back, if you're one of those pitchers that does that, bring your leg back like this. See how I didn't move my shoulders back? Just simply bring your leg back right here and get in that perfect balance position so you can lead with your hips. Okay. Um, so just to recap, again, you'll see a lot of pitchers. Oh, by the way, if you're one of those pitchers that has to bring their your arms over your head like that, you can still, same rules apply. If you do the side step, just bring your arms like that. Don't go all the way back, so by the time you get here, you're off balance. So again, if I take a step back and I wanna bring my arms up, just simply do that without bringing your shoulders back, then you'll be balanced in that position. 